So do you guys know Mask of the Phantasm? I tried to recreate the Batman future house, or the house of the future, um, when they're in the amusement park and they can just see the entire future. I just love the movie and I've always wanted to create something like this. So my first custom figure I did was this robot housewife from the house of the future. And um, I tried to recreate the table, but this is just all prototype stage. I just wanted to see what it looked like and in what scale it should be. So first I had a um, smaller piece of paper underneath, but that was just too small because I couldn't build and uh, make the train cart go through. I needed something a little bigger and think this is quite good. Even though this seems maybe too small because the table is like this and this is of course too high. It should be a little lower and um, the floor should be red. I mean all these things are just going to be adjusted later. And this is not supposed to stand on anything but it's supposed to be attached to the wall I think. Um, but this is quite accurate. Um, you got the um, divider right here. The little stairs which is also from the uh, bat cave set. This is just foam to just showcase a... Um, a bench right there, um, the stairs um, behind there are pretty cool, and um, here's where the uh, like male house dude is gonna be uh, with his feet up uh, watching television. Um, robot dog, of course, and these uh, lines are uh, gonna be changed to um, just all the same, uh, which you also see in the. Um, like right here. This is what I mean. That's the guy that I want to make. Um, most likely the same going to be as her. Um, the robot dog and then the carts of the this scene. Um, these I have to recreate. So I'm pretty curious if that's going to pan out. Uh, right here you can already see that the um, television is attached to the roof. But that's quite difficult because I'm not going to put a roof on top of this. Um, I think if I ever put this up it will be so well made that I can just put it up but also if I just get all these pieces away that I would be able to um, just use the space for something else so nothing of this is gonna be permanent I just it's, it's gonna be a pop-up like I could just put it up whenever I want and if I get tired of it a little bit I could just pack it up um, and put it somewhere else or just put it back in the box that's what I want with this because I think it's quite important that um, it's easy to move, it's easy to put up. Uh, also that it catches all the vibes of the Mask of the Phantasm. So this is the idea I currently have. So you can also put this right here. Um, so you got the feeling that the um, door is right there. And then we have to put something else here. But as I said, if I put some something around it I, I just don't know what it might be I might just might be paper so I can just easily build it up and then um, break it down again if I really wanted to all right so here I am wearing uh, safety goggles or glasses to um, to get this figure apart because I just snapped off one of the hands and um, I reattached it uh, right here and why I did that is because uh, when he does the pose, so he's waving towards the audience that comes by in the cart, uh, he just puts his hands like that. I don't need him to move any different, so the articulation is um, not necessary. And uh, you, you can see in this figure, it's quite okay. I'm going to repaint this figure. It's really old. Uh, I'm just going to remodel this too um, and apply the same science on the head. So I'm just going to dremel down some bit of this and then besides to a more of a square form. Um, and if you can see if in comparison the lights look really really long so what I'm gonna do is get the knee joint out of the way and the ankle joint and as soon as I did that with the um, wrist joint um, the glue came loose there was like uh, fluid uh, fluid glue and I didn't understand it was one second and um, the hand was attached to my finger so I put a um, little casket right here with um, soap and um, just medium water, medium temperature water. So I could just put my fingers in there as soon as it hits because otherwise that stuff gonna stick to me like like glue, obviously. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to trim down this figure a little bit. Uh, at the end, I think it will look really nice. So this is a figure that I think works fine like this because um, 
it's just easy, easy to get. You can get it everywhere. Everyone can do this, basically. Um, only the way I do it, I don't think that far ahead that when I cut the spring, which is in the hand or in the arm, if I cut it right here, the um, effect of the spring is gonna um, lose it. So the arm right here is not gonna be tight anymore. So I have to glue this one to this as well. And only the only thing that I need to do is um, um, glue it to the shoulder. So the shoulder has mobility and the rest of the arm doesn't. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And this is gonna be the pose already for the figure. So I can still move the shoulders. I'm just gonna need to be a little tighter. Um, so it's gonna sit like this. Um, the legs are just a little too long in my opinion right now. So um, now I get to do the knees and the ankles, but now you saw what I did. I don't think I need to repeat that again, show you again. So when it's done, I'll come back to it.